Hey guys, welcome into another tutorial. In this video, we're going to be looking at Pop OS. So, this is the latest Pop OS. So, I'm going to walk you through everything you need to know about Pop OS. So, let's get started. So, as you can see, on its own the way it's looking without any other changes this looks really good in my own opinion i like the looks of it so some of the things that we're going to look at is full customization of the bar at the bottom here and everything you just need to know about pop os so if i right click on my desktop you can see there is why it says change background so that's a quick way of changing your background for your pop os so you can choose a variety of all these or you can add your own image from there okay so when you click add you can go where the image is and add it okay then you've got appearance so if it's either you want it in light mode or dark mode so as you can see this depends with your preference i prefer it being in dark mode so change it back to dark mode and then you've got the dock which is this part at the bottom here so if you want you can disable it if you want you can enable it if you don't want it there and also you can extend it to can see extend dock so this will extend the whole thing from corner to corner as you can see of which in my own opinion that doesn't look really good so i prefer it not being extended i want it to be like that then also you can show launch icon in dock or if you want you can show so that is a launch icon as you can see so if you want to show it you can show it or not then also by default this is ticked which is this mounted disk so these are my partition for my external hard drives and as you can see it's showing them here so i prefer not showing my partitions there that's why i unticked this show mounted there okay so that will remove that from there then also you've got this option here either to hide it like to always for it to be always visible or you can always hide that this bar right there or you can choose intelligent hide so meaning when something is overlapping somewhere there that's when this will like go down okay so i'll choose that okay then it should be there then here under show dock on primary monitor so here to show on the display that you either the main display or on all of them you can choose that's up to you then this depends on the size you prefer if you want it big or small or you can customize to your own view medium is all right okay then also you can set it to be either on the right bottom or left just by choosing that so i'll leave it on the bottom of the screen it looks nice like that then also you can choose how you want to align everything like start you know bottom i prefer center which is all right workspaces you can also play with these settings as well so now if we go to network you will see all connection as you can see i'm using a wired connection then wi-fi you can find wi-fi connections there bluetooth also you can connect your bluetooth from here and also you can find your bluetooth settings just by clicking on this panel here and then clicking bluetooth you should be able to see it then also desktop that's where we're from we want to go to notifications so here you can choose which applications are going to be showing you notifications then applications as well you can tell it to not show notifications as well so under privacy you can tick this or untick it so you can read through all that okay under location you can tell it if you want to use you can switch on location or not then other important and useful stuff these are just some of the applications but here when you go here where it says users as you can see you can see your user there you can click that to change whatever to whatever image you want so for example if i do that it will change the icon if i do that to change the icon i can also edit my name from there as well i can also set it to auto login once i unlock this part of the settings so meaning only someone with the admin privileges to the system can change settings like this okay you've got default settings as well which is you can choose if you downloaded chrome you can set chrome to be your default browser from there here you can set thunderbolt to be your default mailing agent so you can change all these settings date and time you can change your time zones as well then under 
display as well so under display you can choose if it's if they are joined displays or mirror displays or single display you can choose which settings you prefer so based on that and also you can arrange your monitors based on the positions as you can see then also refresh rate you can change it to either that or that so i can change it to the highest one if i want to then also you can see i've changed for that or i can change for this monitor right here for as you can see this one is maxed out like that so this is all up to you in terms of preferences night light as you can see i can set it to, to whatever i want so if i switch it on right now as you can see it is reducing the screen right so this is reducing the blue right at night so i can set it to start at that time and then that what at that time so this is up to you as well so for now i'll just switch it off mouse and keyboard or mouse and touchpad you can also change the default or primary buttons as you can see and then mouse speed you can imp you can increase it to be more sensitive if you feel it's slow okay then keyboard you can also change your keyboard uh, layout you can also change all related keyboard settings under power here this is where you can set it to not to sleep so i can change it to say only sleep after 15 minutes power up button behavior you can select also from here then also um, under this icon here you can also check out the keyboard shortcuts that you are given so as you can see out with the arrow to go back to the previous panel or control and s for search or control and q for quit escape to quit search or cancel search so you can close that as well so that is just on the settings and also if you click this show applications or you can click this show applications that's up to you and also something that i've not mentioned is by default it doesn't come with this maximize button this you don't usually come it doesn't come with that configured so you have to go to your uh, desktop and then you want to scroll all the way down where it says window control you want to tick this because by default it only have minimize and close so if you want maximize you want to tick that then that will make it to go full screen and non full screen depending on the, what you want and also this is just some of the settings you also which come by default which is this show workspaces which is that button there and also show application button which is that one there so if you don't want both to be showing it's just a matter of one two and as you can see that's done and also you we can set the position of our time so we can put our time to the left if we wanted to just like that so as you know this is fully customizable to your specifications whatever you feel is the best for you and also depending on the preferences that you have as well you can choose whatever you want to choose here okay so I'll close my settings and one other thing that i like about pop os is on the menu as you can see you've got this nice looking menu right here so you have all these quick things like contacts calculator calendar so these things you can easily access if you've got your terminal they are very important and also just some of the things like let's say office it's because i divided in some categories here as you can see so under office this acts like excel and uh, this acts like word in windows okay under system you also get these nice tools like startup applications so here we can set up what we want to start up every time we start our machine we can say add and also we can, here we can create our own application that we want to start so we can browse through the documents maybe you have got an sh file that you want to start on boot so you can create the command for it and how to start it from there and also you can edit already existing ones from there so one thing here under the menu again under system you've got your system monitor which is something similar to task manager on windows and i'll be showing you how you can also install htop which is uh, much better as well in terms of displaying information on the terminal so as you can see we've got resources these are my four cores for my cpu that's my memory and my swap this is my network 
so all this i can see and it is just helping you to figure out what's going on on your pc what services are running so i'll also show you a better alternative than this but for now we can just continue with that then also under utilities you've got all these utilities usb flasher so here you can get a lot you can have a lot of things that you can use and as you can see here under disks you can click disks and then you can see all the disks that you have and what are their partitions as you can see so this is a partition of that i can click the three dots i can format it i can create disk image i can restore disk file here as you can see smart data and self self test so i can even test the disk to see if it's fine or not so this is something that you know is uh, nice for to have on a system so i'll put in the password there and it will test my hard drive and see if it has any other issues as you can see Power on months and stuff like that so it's calculating and everything like that so this is just something you need okay so close that and as you can see it's still doing this test you can go through all the discs that you have as you can see and yeah you can just see how they are mounted so i can see it's mounted at media it contents then that okay so this is something that you would want to have in your toolkit okay then i'll close this i'll also close that i'll go back to my menu here and yeah as you can see this is all the good stuff about pop os and if you like the video please leave a like and subscribe to my channel so that you don't miss any time i release a new video because we'll be going into details about what are the differences between pop os and maybe linux mint and which one is better for you as a new linux user and also just as a side note pop os is also based on the ubuntu lts version okay so meaning there is not that much of a big difference the community is also large so because most of the things you can install on ubuntu you can also install on pop os because they run on the same base